Okay. Allons-y. So this is the website, Wire Dictionary. This is a Shopify store. I don't think it worked out. I don't think I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to just do a bunch of platforms. I, ooh, what sunk cost? Oh man, this is, it hurts though to abandon something. What, okay, I climb it. It was the first one I had on, ooh, what about if I have some that are unique to Shopify and I don't have on the regulars? I would see the adverts. See, they had too many a climate. Uh, it actually doesn't look that bad. To become, can I uh, zoom in? A climate. To become accustomed to a new climate or environment. Yes. Ooh. And then I have a ku ri me i uh, I guess extension thingy to. Yeah. Oh, fa da da da. What else do I got for this? A climate. Yeah. The the bunny rabbit acclimatized to the boiling hot water. <laughs> uh. Here we go. Oh, here's some like a uh, stock photo or what is it? What are these called when you get a uh, you impose your image on these. Im I don't know. Let's see this. Why am I looking up the t I guess I want to see what it looks like on a t-shirt. I do have the other images, though. Ooh, I could save those other images, though. Nah. Nah, what fails, fails, you know? Abandon. I'll make a video out of it, though. Content. Oh my. Learn from your mistakes? Hopefully I will learn from my mistakes. There we go. Can we see this okay? I don't know if I can. I have a Twitch chat thing covering this. Okay, here we go. Amicus Kyore. Kyore? How do you pronounce it in Japanese? Amikasu Kyore. Eh? <laughs> Law US. A person or entity who has been allowed by the court to plead or make submissions, but who is not directly involved in the action. Let me check over my audio working. That'd be so daft if I didn't do that. Okay, it is working. Yay! Alone. Good, good. Next. So Latin is involved in this. Oh, okay. This is a different version. Yeah. I just look at the katakana versions. Katakana. Ooh, katakana is what's cool, you know? It look cool. Other ones are like, eh, they're okay. Sometimes they're okay without the katakana. A pantopy. I love this one. Oh my goodness. What is up with the... Okay, zoom out maybe will help, surprisingly. No? Can I zoom in? Resize? No? The F? Whatever. Uh, yes. What? Okay, apparently I looked up associationism. Psychology, a theory that association of experiences, etc. is the basis of consciousness and mental activity. Ooh, yes. So vocab people love associationism probably because like a lot of things associated with other stuff. You get like uh, combined and mission mash and come up with new ideas. Yeah, I think vocab nerds do love that. Like myself. Um, but that, what? How did I click on that? Um, a pantropy. Yeah, that's what I want. Ooh, I love the word a pantropy. That's great. Uh, a pantropy, an aversion to human company, love of solitude. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. A pantropy. So, like hermits who live in hippie vans, for example, are a pantropus. <laughs> I don't know if that's a form of that word. It could be. Byronic. Okay. Give me Byronic. Pertaining of or pertaining to British romantic poet George Gordon Byron. I haven't read enough of the Byron guy. 1788 through 1824 of his writings. I don't really do poetry, but he does have the right cool mood, right? Let me look up Byronic for us real quick. Let's get the story behind it. Byronic hero. Yeah, this is the interesting backstory to the word. The Byronic hero is a variant of the romantic hero as a type of character named after the English poet, oh, English romantic poet Lord Byron. Uh, both Byron's own persona as well as characters from his writings are considered to provide defining features to the character type. Yes. Um, can you give me a better definition? Does uh, Merriam-Webster sometimes is good? Byronic hero TV tropes is notable for being sullen, withdrawn, Hard to like and hard to know, but usually possessing a rich inner life and softer side, accessible only to a special few. So like a sundae. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, ooh, catch, this may not be that interesting. Is it a religious term? I was just trying to get that Dewey Decimal System categorization for religion, probably. Let's see if this is anything interesting. Oh, how do you pronounce it in Japanese? Kira, kiai, te... Oh, did my oh if I uh, move my head too much, my thing freezes. Uh, let's do this. Kizum, oh whatever. A book in question and answer form summarizing the basic principles of Christianity. Okay, so that is kind of cool though. The question and answer form. Yeah, yeah, that is a cool religious term actually. I'm not a I'm a, like a weak agnostic guy. I'm sort of confused religiously. I don't. It could be true. I don't know if it could. I would like things to be true. Yada yada. I don't know if that's the right 
way to describe my faith or whatever. I think that is. I'm a, I'm not as, that's not me speaking for write your dictionary, by the way. That's just me saying that this, I happen to be that. I'm a guy who's controlling a puppet right now. Oh, wait, no, I am the puppet. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> uh, chicanery. Deception by the use of trickery, quibbling, or subterfuge. Okay, what's on a good example of chicanery? Just any villain ever? Ha ha, I obtained this via chicaneries. Ha ha, let's uh, see some example words of chicanery. Chicanery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a sentence, maybe? In a sentence. I could, if I see another sentence, I can make a really good sentence. That's funny and humorous. Okay. She would have seen much political chicanery in their United Kingdom. Yes. Knowing British chicanery, Mr. Post was right not to be surprised. After eight years of financial chicanery, he concludes that Chancel has produced an iron for Africa. What is that? What is iron? All right, I'll look that up later. Enron? Oh, like the company? Isn't that like some corrupt, famous corrupt company or something like that? Okay, whatever. Allegedly. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I got to cover. Oh, protect myself. Okay. Demersion. This is like sinking in water, right? Drowning or something? Submerging something in water? Yeah, demersion. The act of plunging into a fluid. A drowning. I wonder if they could, like, you know how you sprinkle water on your microwave to food to, like, heat it up fast or whatever? Maybe you can say that's demersion. Probably not. I think it's more like plunging into fluid. It's probably some scientific term. I don't use it ever, to be honest. It looks cool, though. Uh, dialectology. All right. Study of dialects. So <laughs> right to it. <laughs> Study of dialect, yes. Do you study the rhyming slang, cockney rhyming slang? Cockney rhyming slang is uh, a lot of fun. I'd suggest getting into those. Oh, where's it at? Yeah, here we go. Examples. Getty. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Don't want to mention drugs here. Plates, feet. Plates of meat, yeah. Turkish laugh? I like bubble bath for laugh. It's a funny one. Raspberry farts. Rapperry? What? Porky's lie. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay. So that's, they, you know, if you study that as an example of being a dialectologist. <laughs> There's a lot that I posted on this. Oof. Oof. I put, this is the one person doing all this work. It's too much work. And just to get rid of too. Oof. That hurts the soul. All right. This is an awkward photo of this lady. I feel bad for this lady. <laughs> to cause inconvenience to someone. Discommode. Okay. Ooh, egregious. Usually in the negative sense, uh, conspicuous, exceptional, outstanding. So obviously bad is an easy definition to that. Egregious. Mostly negative. Ooh, is she cute? I can't, I can't even see it, though. Equivocal. Let's just look up equivocal. It's a really bad mock-up. Equivocal. Probably partly the reason why I'm getting rid of Shopify. Anyway, I just need to program my own website if I really want to do it. So people can make their own. I don't know. This charity idea is a daft one, isn't it? Equivocal, not in a sentence, so just look up equivocal. Here we go. Open to more than one interpretation. Ambiguous, yes, that's fun. Uncertain or questionable. The results of the investigation were equivocal. The equivocal nature... Oh, bleh. It's like prevaricating the equivocal nature of her remarks. So you're referring to somebody who's prevaricating or lying and whatnot. And through trickery and fancy rhetoric and whatnot. Uh, fatalism. Cool. Fatalism is an interesting one. That's a fun one to wear, too. It's got some style to it. Fatalism, the doctrine that all events are subject to fate or inevitable necessity or determined in advance in such a way that human beings cannot change them. Yeah, that's not, not really my style, but uh has that emo-ness to it that uh, is fun to wear, you know? I wear one that says a flunter is a state of disorder. It's very emo, Joy Division style, you know? Fatalism is the same way. Very hipster, you know? <laughs> Gothian, oof, more writer stuff, cool. Of or relating to Johann Wolfgang Goethe, German writer and thinker. Okay, let's look up uh, Gothian, or just Gothian? Goethe? Famous writer guy. <laughs> Scientist, novel statesman, theater director, critic, amateur artist, blah, blah, blah. He did everything. Hopefully he's not some evil person. <laughs> I should actually look into his... I'll listen to some audiobooks of this guy and whatnot. Should be cool. I'm really behind, by the way, culturally. I don't know much. That's why I probably get into vocab. I can discover all this stuff along the way, you know? Growl. Growl. This is hard to say. Just do the Japanese pronunciation. Gurori. Gurori. A place to retreat to alone when ill-humored. Ooh. Yes. It's like your man cave when you're grumpy. Grumpy man cave. <laughs> 
growly. Key binding. Okay, I'm obviously just trying to get the computer science bit. Uh, oh, here's a weird mock-up. Look at that. Come on, load, dude. I have too many tabs open. <laughs> That's really awkward. What and why? Key binding, computing, a key or a key combination, which, when pressed, causes something to happen. Ooh, very cool. Very not cool. <laughs> it's one of the not as cool designs, to be honest. But eh. Somebody's watching this video is like, no, that's my favorite design. It's the best one. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, landed society. Oh, I'll just look it up. Goodness. The mock-ups you cannot zoom in very easily. Landed society. Those who have the wealth, the people, ooh, with the properties. Who are born into it. Landed society. Wiktionary probably has it. They're a pretty consistent dictionary. Yeah. All right, which is the one I would probably use? I probably would use a socioeconomic system in which wealth and status are derived primarily from land ownership. Well, it's not the best definition, is it? A British socioeconomic class of landowners, socially just below the aristocracy or peerage, who could live entirely from rental income. Yeah, this is the definition I like. This is the most fun one. Um, yes. Uh, secret society that owns a premises? Nah. Landowners association? Nah. This is my favorite one. Most personality to that definition. And it's probably the one I used. Yeah. Linguophile. Okay. A person who loves languages or words and words. Yes, that is me. You know, I started a whole charity idea called Wear Your Dictionary to raise money for, like, people who live in crappy school districts and whatnot. You know, it's made, like, $17 thus far that paid for keeping the website up. And, uh, actually, I'm in the black or whatever. Because I got charged more for Shopify. It kept on running, apparently, even though this store was closed. But whatever, you can charge me. <laughs> I had to I have to fix that. Uh, it's been closed since January, and they still charge me. It's not nice. Uh, Link Latikophobia. I mean, I assume it's me. I'm sort of a dafty. Maybe it's my fault. Hopefully it's not my fault. So the fear of lawsuits, and here's like a visual representation of the fear of lawsuits. Here we go. So as we see, there's a dude running away from Lady Liberty or Lady Justice. If you're familiar with Lady Justice, I'll look it up for you. Lady Justice. Okay, she's like the allegorical personification of the moral force and judicial systems. Her attributes are a blindfold, a beam balance, and a sword. She often appears as a pair with Prudentia. I don't know Prudentia, actually. I'll look this up later, but it should be interesting. She sort of represents law, right? Oh my goodness, I gotta go back to Shopify. Okay. Uh, Lichnobite, a person who works or labors at night and sleeps during the day. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of words surrounding that whole concept, but this has like a wolfy vibe to it. Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah. You know, dire nation sleeping during the day. What else is there? What's the other word for. I have to look it up later, Christ. Oh no, my vocab is fading. That's not good. I gotta study more. Uh, what, militaria? Is, uh, military police artifacts? Everything is a part of the militaria because of civil asset forfeiture. <laughs> Ooh, you have a... How much is in your wallet, sir? <laughs> Let me take that from you. <laughs> That's a military artifact. It's a police artifact now. It's a military. <laughs> civil asset forfeiture? Hey, oh, I support civil asset forfeiture. I don't know anybody who would support civil asset forfeiture besides people who are incentivized to support such, like, the police dude themselves. Mesian, okay. I'm trying to be non-biased. I'm doing all the economic eponyms. So I have Mesian, I have Keynesian, you know, all the, the biases. But if I mention one, the other side's going to get mad. They're like, oh, no, you mentioned this one. Oh, no. But, yeah, this is Mesian of relating to the economic analysis of Ludwig von Mises. I'll just leave it at that. Not the best definition there, is it? Monomachia, a duel, a single combat. Oh, yeah, what happened to the old days of monomachia was get a pistols out and shoot one another over conflict right yeah <laughs> that's the best way to settle things monop monop monopsoni how do we pronounce it in japanese or oh, whatever situation a market situation in which there is only one buyer for a product Ooh, very interesting cool 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 that is a very nerd term we'll just skip that that's boring 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 i mean it looks cool though more ass that's all that matters right Moras, anything that entraps or makes progress difficult. Moras, even morassing me, harassing me. Because it, it seems like a swamp, right? It's very swampy. You're like bogged down in the swamp. It's a fun one. Uh, noctificant. Apparently, people complain that I misuse this word. I feel like I never misuse. I don't know. 
Noctificant, walking or wandering in the nighttime. Night wandering. Somebody claimed I misused that word. I had it in some sentence before, and someone's like, ah, it doesn't look right. I'm like, really? That's an adjective, right? I don't know. Maybe people are just better at grammar than me. I'm good at the vocab. That's about it. Abdor mission. Ooh, this is fun too. The sensation or numbness that occurs in a limb when it falls asleep due to pressure on the nerve. Your girlfriend is sleeping on your arm and falls asleep and you're like, oh no, I don't want to bother her type situation, but ooh, I mean, she's cute. Oh, no, blah, 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 but I feel bad if I move it. I got to move it. I feel my arm's going to freaking fall off. Cut off the blood. You know, you know. <laughs> Took that to the extreme almost there. All right, let's move on. I mean, this is technically not an advertisement because I'm getting rid of this whole website. Just so you know, YouTube. Or though liberalism will crap political words. That's not good. I'm a international relations major guy, so I do, I'm a, you know, familiar with all the political whatnot. Uh, you can't even see it with this mock-up. All right, I'll just look up Ordo liberalism. You're allowed to do whatever you want as long as it's what we tell you to do. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Um, is a German variant of economic liberalism that emphasizes the need for the state to ensure that free market produces the results close to its theoretical potential. Wait, no, that's not a good no, wiktionary. Do you do a better job? A political philosophy that emphasizes maximizing the potential of the free market to produce what? So, oof. yeah, that's like a um, very simplified definition. That's not good. Orthopraxy. Right belief. Oh, no, here we go. Orthopraxy. Right belief combined with right practice. Oof. Are you, are you following the orthopraxy? Are you saying the right things? Otherwise, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, sir. We have divergent beliefs? Nah, you're not allowed to have those. <laughs> Paleogeography. The study of historical geography of the chiefly physical, but sometimes political slash cultural geography of the world and the geologic past. Ooh. Fun one. Oh, yeah, this is... Epic fun. And this is a actually its own sub-classification within the Dewey Decimal System, too. It's a great word, though. Parapsychology. The study of that which cannot yet be explained. Psychic or occult phenomena, such as telepathy and ghosts. Oh, very cool. It's very fun. X-Files, you know? Good stuffs. Oh, uh, looks like I just did a bunch for sub-classifications or whatever for the Dewey Decimal System, but it's okay. Not the most fun way to go about it, but pharmaceutical of or relating to pharmacy or pharmacists. <laughs> that would be funny if a pharmacist guy is wearing this one under like a lab coat or something. It's like, ooh, yes, that is what you are. <laughs> You're pharmaceutical. Yes, I am pharmaceutical. <laughs> Same thing if a Philadelphia lawyer is wearing the, the word for Philadelphia lawyer. That would be again funny. Philadelphia lawyer, U.S., a clever, crafty, or otherwise extremely adroit practitioner of law. Ooh, yes, he's very clever, that guy, for wearing the shirt that says Philadelphia lawyer. for saying what he is. <laughs> Pluralism. Oh, Christ, how many do I have to go through? I mean, I'm deleting this store. I better go through them. I better go through the content. Pluralism. The acknowledgement of a diversity of political systems. Oh, yes. You want to try them all. You know, very experimentalism. You have little groups experimenting with each type, and we see which works out the best. Trial and error style. Yeah. Are you you're willing to accept, like, different local practices and whatnot? Sort of like subsidiarity. Is it? It's a Catholic principle, and again, I'm not Catholic or whatever. Just it's a cool idea. Is the principle of social organization that holds that social and political issues should be dealt with at the most immediate or local level with that is consistent with their resolution. Yes, it's very cool. Fumatics. Oh, the branch of mechanics that deals with the mechanical properties of gases. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I farted. Oh, I cannot pronounce this one for my life, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. Faithology. The predictive or statistical study of elections. Elections. Yeah, everyone was a fave, fave, uh, phaseophologist after the election between Trump and Biden. Ooh, ooh, something, did something naughty go on? No, it didn't. Look at these maths. So something naughty go on. Look at this uh, anecdotal story. No, look at this anecdotal story. It was a prize. Why was that? Sorry, I, I don't have a horse in that race. Or wait, no, I do. Whatever horse is yours. <laughs> I'm a coward. I believe whatever you believe. <laughs> okay, pulchritudinous having great physical beauty. Let's just look up a babe, okay? Pulchritudinous. We just, uh, we need to look up Badal real quick. The baby list of the babes in Genshin Impact. Badal game model, sure. Did I look up that before, really? Okay. What is with that? Oh, there's like an action figure or something. 
The babeliest of the babes. Yes, the babes. Oh my gosh, what a babes. Babes, man. Oh my goodness, babes. <laughs> Move on. Here we go, Paul Cortunas. Can you see this? Literary. Having great physical beauty. Yeah. Quietism. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, yes. A form of mysticism involving quiet complications. Shut up! I need to do my magics. You can say that in your D&D campaign if your guy has the ability of uh, quietism magics. I can't do my cantrips without silence. And the enemy's like, okay, then I'll just talk. Hello, hello. <laughs> that should be like an easy, uh, combated, uh, superpower or whatever. Like, you only can do your magic when everyone's really quiet. That'd be hilarious. You do a lot of gags with that one. Rat race. Oh, man, I want to get out of the rat race. An activity or situation which is congested with participants and which is hectic or tedious, especially in the context of a busy, modern, urban lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. I had to hide so you could see the word there. Um, okay. Chiefly literary repentance. Recognition of a past mistake, especially with a desire to improve in the future. So, respeasance? Oh my gosh. I could probably pronounce it Japanese better. Do you have a pronunciation for me? No. Uh, whatever. You people figure it out. <laughs> oh, I farted. Scientism. All right. An exaggerated trust in the efficacy of methods of natural science applied to all areas of investigation, as in philosophy, the social sciences, and the humanities. In all the humanities. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, ooh. Unfounded uh, beliefs in science, like just unwarranted, just for no reason, just because of credentialism. You know, hey, yeah, yeah, I worship science. Solvigant. Solvigant? Solivigant? Wandering alone. Yes, I wander alone up this mountain, this this lonely road, this yellow brick road. Two pages. Oh my gosh, I need to put in efforts. Yuck. Yeah, efforts for this video. Yucks, ergophobia. I don't want to work. Work. Staphyloma. No. Staphyloma. Staphyloma. You know, I'm like taking these classes and I can't pronounce the medical words. Like <laughs> Medicine. A abnormal protrusion of the... Uvil tissue through the eyeball. Yes, evil. I mean, this is what I do in college. I really should be able to pronounce this. I mean, I'm not doing in-person classes right now. It's all multiple choice. It's very, like, poorly organized online classes. Theodicy, theology, philosophy, a justification of a deity or particular attributes of a deity. Oh my gosh, she's cute. Oh, wait, is she cute? Can I tell? Whoever's in the mock-up? Oh, she just looks normal. For a second, I thought she was, like, cute. I mean, she's, she's somewhat cute. Somewhat cute. All right. Theophany. A manifestation of a deity to a person. Oh, Bowie appeared to me in my dream. It was a theophany. Oh, wait. It was a theophany. David Bowie's a god, obviously, just so you guys know. Topology. Mathematics. A branch of mathematics studying those properties of a geometric figure or solid that are not changed by stretching, bending, and similar homeomorphisms. All right. Bye. We got to edit this.